Kecoh. Ang tunjuk berkah mentok kita menakar di tempat hisap menakar. Nah yang menukar lebih dekat cuntu dua minit lebih. Kapi kedai lu. Minit je nak tu dengan dal sah sah rumah ni. Ang mesum su tu. Kapi banjai pilih yang macam deh lu minit lebih. Dan jemui dengan krom minit lebih kapi kedai pi krom tiet. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, indeed, I have the last information I have is that the Yung Sari team would need no more than 10 minutes, and the Kyo Sun Pham team would need ហើយក្រុមខ្ញុំសំខាន់គឺថាមិនត្រូវការពេលវេលាអីដើម្បីសូត្រសាស្រ្តស្រីនោះទេដូច្នេះក៏សូមសួរទៅបញ្ជាក
I will try to rephrase. Just now, you stated that soldiers that would cross into the other zones run the risk of disappearing. My question to you is, did your units ever encounter soldiers from the other zones, the east zones, the south west zones, that had entered the area of the zones, the east zones, the south west zones, the south west zones, the south west zones, the area that you were guarding. Mr. President, I would like to read to the witness uh, excerpt from the documents E3-1568. Statements uh, by Mr. Hinsamrin given in the interview uh, by ประสมการณ์อนุญาตดำไบบังคับจุดเอกสารนี้ปัญหานี้อ้อมจำเรียกปานสมรัจมาดองให้มันอนุญาตเอาเลือกบอกตั้งพี่ประสาทสีโดด
this might of course change and then uh, perhaps the different rules would apply. But in the past, the OCP and the defense have quoted from statements by witnesses. So I think our question would be what, what has changed. And um, this particular witness contradicts Mr. Hang Samrin's statement contradicts an important part the statement by this witness. We cannot effectively impeach a questions witness if we cannot use statements like these that are simply part of the body of evidence before your chamber. Just, just quickly, uh, the court has made clear that counsel can ask questions relating to the underlying content that whatever Heng Samrin may have said or not said does not impeach this witness. Uh, that is uh, simply a, a false proposition. You are, the court has made very clear that you are entitled to ask about the substance of the matter. Uh, but unless there is a direct connection to this witness, uh, that is what, and uh, our position was, uh, I read through the transcript from, from the other day, we made very clear our objection to the use of this document is unless you can establish a direct nexus to the witness. It's hard to conceive uh, how that could be given Hang Samrin's position in ESO. Uh, so uh, I think it's, it's uh, uh, incorrect to assert also that the prosecution uh, uh, the prosecution has offered uh, to agree to the admission of this document. You, the new Tunche defense, have objected to the admission of this document. We've offered to resolve the issue uh, by agreeing to that, and you have not taken us up on that. So to, to suggest that, that we uh, uh, would use this document for any purpose is incorrect. Um, and the, the position we made very clear is that you need to show a nexus to this witness in order to use a document like this. Very briefly, Mr. President, uh, in order to show a nexus, I will have to read the part of the document that I want to read to show that Mr. Hengsen Marine is testifying as to issues that uh, this witness testifies to. So we cannot have this debate in the abstract if we need to go in closed session outside of the presence of the witness that is perhaps necessary, but um, we submit that Hansen's testimony is relevant in light of the testimony of this witness.
Look, may be just for bow. Ong Jim Rehman, some right, Kalong Mok, Rehai, Kum and Anayat, or may be not strong, no Jim Lai, Satsai Saint Tit, Yok Mok, Sword and Down, you both Satsai Mui Saint Tit Vanti. They may be I tongue some noji two third, I look clumps out, a clone you'll dung. They'll clone cut them car and car mill, I guess, no robber clone, where you mull the hand, no car, so. Look, I tang the new ban. Thank you, Mr. President. I understand May that I just about some of look cannot in. quote from um, um, the statements by Mr. Heng Samrin. I will move on to a related topic. And I will Try to paraphrase. I guess that's the order that I'm under. It's a new topic, but related. So, Mr. Sumchea, you have stated that the Eastern German forces were the harshest. Other sources would state that the Eastern Zone forces were generally much better behaved and much better organized. Did you ever hear statements to that extent that the Eastern Zone forces were much better behaved and much more organized? ឬក៏ថាមានវិន័យហ្នឹងគឺល្អជាងតបតបមកពីកន្លែង <coughs> I'm not sure that I understood your last answer, so I will ask one follow-up question. Was it your understanding that the northern zone, northern zone forces were um, less harsh than the eastern zone forces? Mr. Witness, I will try to repeat in slightly more straightforward fashion. Was it your understanding 
ដោយសារតែនៅក្នុងប្រទេសអាមេរិកនេះគឺជាប្រទេសអាមេរិកនេះគឺជាប្រទេសអាមេរិកនេះគឺជាប្រទេសអាមេរិកនេះគឺជា
And to be clear, did you personally of the broadcast, did you hear any of the transmissions over these loudspeakers? So you only know about it because Kuhn told you about them. Is that correct? And to get back to the other question I asked, uh, some, you stated before the OCIJ that these loudspeakers were set up after seven or eight days after liberation of Phnom Penh. Was that a correct statement? Were they indeed set up uh, seven to eight days after the liberation of Phnom Penh? ແລະຄືປະປີປະໄບຖ້າໃຫ້ក្រោយຖ້າໃຫ້ <coughs> ពួកអរិយហៅថាលំដោះលំដោះនឹងថាអត់ <coughs> Thank you for clarifying that because if one were to read just your answer and that you gave to the OCIJ, it would seem that you were actually present and heard those loudspeakers um, being used. Um, but the question remains, why did you testify to the OCIJ that they set up these loudspeakers after seven or eight days? Can you give an explanation for your testimony before the OCIJ that these loudspeakers were set up after seven or eight days. ដោយមកក្រោយពីថ្ងៃរំដោះហ្នឹងបាទបំពលបំពុយថ្ងៃហ្នឹងគឺលឺគឿនซอบสายไอ้อัลกิจุนเจ๋งไอ้อัลมีนที่อัลมีนลืมไม่ครับ
As far as you know, when these loudspeakers were deployed seven or eight days after the liberation of Phnom Penh, were there still long more soldiers in the city? ແລະຫຍັງນະໂດຍຍົ້ມພາບໄປພັກຍັງຄືນອາດຊັ້ນຂອງທີ່ກອງພົມໄດ້ຫຼືກໍຫຍັງນະໂດຍຍົ້ມ
đại bản khơi con to phùng phe bồ pìa nó một đồng bọt nôm đại được thế à thì đại khơi xong phụ phải thiên con phố từ nơi các bạn nông thời từ vườn nắng nơi các bạn nông phải phụ bồ pìa mà diệp đò bọt nôm này rồi những cua bê cha na mà bởi con pol bởi lẽ là tôi hại có thể cháy phun mà tôi như chăm chìm you have stated you have talked about this a little bit, could you มาพุ่มเพียบเวียนมีประมาณกองปลอีกตัวอย่างนั้นกองปลกองปลตัวเวือกมัวนึกมากองปลไอ้มากองปลนั้นกันกันประมาณเนี่ยประมาณเข้า
ดยแต่ตัวอย่างก็จริงใหญ่ทางก่อนไอตาตกการสานตัวรังตาตกการภูมิเปียบเปียเตยคุณยมก็โดยเฉพาะที่ตาบอกยมลงสมชายรนสมอภิชาลงสมชายคุณยมตุจุนในที่นี้ตลกไม่ตัวบีไมค์คอลคานาวาสมอคุณชาลสมเจยลูกอันนี้เราไปติดการจุนเตอร์กรมมิตรบีกาปิกไรลูกเอียงสรีนำไปเมนองกาหนองกาสวนอินดาลจมพูสะไซรุมนี้ Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone. In and around the courtroom. Good afternoon, sir. Along with Mr. Angodom. I represent Mr. Yang Sari. I have a few questions. First of all, this morning you indicated to the president when he asked you how many statements you gave, you indicated two. We only see one. Only one was presented to you by the prosecution. It was, in fact, reference is only one. Can you please tell us when you had the second interview? All right. Let's see if we can work together and figure this out. The folks that interviewed you that one time when we don't have the statement, do you recall where they were from? Well, I don't want to be an egg star, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. But I don't care, 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 I don't care. I don't care, 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 I don't care. All right. And were those people the same people that came back to interview you the second time? Or from the same organization? Uh, there's no need for the lawyer to look some some Gladly, Mr. President, a witness, you've told us that during the first interview, someone or some people came, one may have been an American, showing you documents and asking questions. Were they the same people that came the second time when they interviewed you? Thank you. Now, were they from the same organization, that is, from this tribunal that came and visited you in Kampong Chanang? All right. 
And could you please tell us, could you please tell us whether they identified themselves? Did they introduce themselves as to what, where they come from, what the purpose of the interview was? Uh, thank you. Now, sir, could you please tell us how long that interview took place? I see there's an objection. I'm sure it'll be interesting. សំគ្រប់លោកប្រធានលោកលោកស្រីចក្រមខ្ញុំសូមធ្វើ <coughs> <coughs> ສະດົມເມືອງສົນສົນປີສະຫຼາສົນ <coughs> 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 Allow me, Mr. President, to respond. Uh, uh, Thank you, Mr. President. I'll be brief. Um, uh, our position is that the, uh, the defense should have a limited scope to ask questions on this issue. Um, my only objection is that counsel should be very clear as to which interviews he's, he's uh, asking about. He should, I think it's still unclear uh, which, whether it was the first or second interview, was the interview that was recorded. And uh, I think his questions are somewhat confusing at this point uh, because he has yet to really clarify that. But if, if he proceeds in that manner, uh, we do not have any objection to him uh, asking questions on this issue. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. If I may respond, uh, first of all, I'll make sure that I'm abundantly clear as to which statement I'm referring to. Second of all, let me address the civil party lawyer uh, who stood up. First of all, it was you, Mr. President, that elicited from the gentleman that he gave two statements. It was the prosecutor, the national prosecutor, who stood up and only showed one statement. In our disclosure material, we only have one statement. We've heard testimony from the witness throughout the day, where essentially the witness has come full circle, more or less admitting that what he's saying is pure hearsay. That virtually, he witnessed very little, if any. Now, I'm entitled to explore this. Why? Because it goes to his credibility, it goes to the weight that you wish to give his, his testimony. Now, if the, gentleman, if the gentleman was interviewed first by investigators of the Office of the Core Investigative Judges, without being tape recorded, without being mentioned anywhere in their summary, and also produced documents, and showed the documents to the witness, and went over those documents with the witness, might there have been a way of coaching the witness, refreshing the witness, creating a memory in the witness, might that in any way take his entire testimony, let alone the process itself, which is, and I'm not going, and I know that the pro, uh, uh, under the French system this would be called a nullity, 
I'm not going for that. What I'm talking about is an inappropriate manner in which an investigation took place with this gentleman, which may have tainted his testimony. And I should be perfect, I mean, I mean within my rights, to question on this because, after all, it was you, Mr. President, who asked the witness how many times he was interviewed. And we are very grateful, very grateful for you asking the question and extremely grateful for the gentleman being honest with us. And I'm also grateful to the prosecutor who recognizes the merit of my questioning, albeit he seems to be rather confused as to where I'm going. And I'm going to clarify as to which, which statement I'm referring to and when the documents were shown to him. Thank you. លោកមៃកលកណវះតាំងសំណួរសាជាថ្មីបំណងទៀតពីពួកដើម្បីជាក់ច្បាស់ពីពួកគោលដៅនៃការតាំងសំណួរគឺមានគូបំណងផ្ស
and it's your testimony by, that by the third day, by the time you got there, the entire embassy was empty. That's your testimony from your, recollect, uh, your recollection, is that correct? And it was on the third day that you actually went into the embassy to check it out, to make sure nobody was there. Is that your testimony? All right. Now, we're going to switch to something else, because you talked a lot about killings. Can you please tell us how many times were you involved in killing Lenore soldiers that had waved their, the white flag or had surrendered? And how many times would, did you witness the killings of the Lenol soldiers that had given up? Alright, so he told you, but you didn't see it. That's your testimony. And so much of what you told us today is based on what others told you and not what you actually saw or participated in. Is that your testimony? I don't, my objection is just to the extent that Mr. Carnivus is slightly overstating uh, to the extent uh, he's referring to the issue related to the executions of the law no soldiers. The witness has been clear since the start that was based on information from Kuhn. To the extent he's trying now to extend that to all of the witness's testimony, uh, he's being argu argumentative and misstating uh, the evidence. Mr. President, I believe we have an answer from the witness. We do have a confirmation that he was at the French Embassy three days after Phnom Penh fell, and to his uh, observations, personal observations, personal activity, there was no one there. So that we have a confirmation. As to everything else, it would appear that the gentleman has indicated that he heard but didn't participate and didn't actually see. And with that, I think there's no further need for me to question the gentleman. I wish to thank him and wish him a good journey back home. Thank you very much, Mr. President. บ่าวคุณเมื่อเด้อเมื่อក្រុមមេត្រវីលោកខេសំផនមិញថាអត់មានតំណួរទេឥឡូវមានអីទេចង់ក្រោយនេះ <coughs> អាបតមានរបស់លោកនៅអបតកលែងមានភាពចាំបាច់ចិត្តហើយលោកអាចបើតលប់ទៅកាន់លំនៅ
สักให้กรรมบรรลุนั่งอายโจรุ่มเราไปพิกเตียนในโครงการสไปดอกกาเปิดในเรื่องกระไดนี้สมลูกสมจีจูบแต่ตำนานล้อนั่งเพื่อตำนานเบอร์ตลับตัวเป็นประกอบได้สบัดเพียบมนตรีรัฐบาลตลาดกาสมรรถจมุยหนึ่งมนตรีในองค์กับเพียบความเปียสะใจในเนี่ยจุดนี้องค์การจูนสะใจรุ่งนี้เบอร์ตลับตัวการดำเนินทานบกวดหรือกอติดกันไล่ได้จีโกได้ในเมื่อกวดมีบอมลองจังตื้อบานเฮยให้หนึ่งเอาจูนดำเนินรัฐวินิจเดมินฮาสเนียมทีซีสีพีไปถึงประมูลตลอดการลงเดินทางบกวดวิ่งนั่งอ่อยจึงกวดตลอดบกันประตูตรงจำสำหรับสะใจในจุดนี้ได้ในช่วงประตูสำนักการนี้วิ่งในประเทศไทยจะบรรมุนมองประมูลบริษัทนาการไทยนี้ดอกปีสำหรับให้เอาอย่างเบสปากาฟ้าเป็นสำนักการสำนักการสำหรับไทยนี้ตรงนี้ให้สำนักการเลือกตัวบรรทัดพื้นในไทยสะใจไทยอังกฤษที่ประมุ่ยใครบริจิการชาวปีปอนดอกปีจับดำปีมองประมูลปรึกให้สำนักการเลือกไทยสะใจอังกฤษแรงนั่งเพื่อสำนักการสดับไทยกรรมดาวมันดังดับวันนี้ดำเนินฮัสเนียมทีซีซีพีไปสุดประมุ่นดังดำสูตรดังดาวดาวกรมเบญจบีนอมุกดำนางดาวมันดังดับวันนี้มลเพียกีดอเตจิตกระทรวงเพียกีนศาสตร์เทนจุนเชียบประกอบอัยอนุเรียมที่คุ้มแข็งดองครูนจุนจับจับจังปีรูปนุนเทียนหนึ่งลูกเคียวสมพรตลอดการบันทีคุ้มแข็งในอวตารกอบเป็นเจ้าให้นางอัยนองครูนกวาดจังปีรูปมกันประตุสำนักการในวิ่งในประเทศไทยสายไอบานมลมองประมุ่นสำหรับเจ้า